Hi everyone. So this week we're going to talk a little bit about the anatomy of a Wikipedia article um, and we're going to cover a little bit about uh, the first chapter of the Information Literacy User's Guide on identifying your need for information. Um, so first things first, do remember to sign up for your Wikipedia account um, and then go and enroll in that companion Wikipedia course. So all of that is linked on the Moodle site. And then go ahead and complete your online training. So we're not going to have a discussion this week because you will be doing that training and you're going to be reading this chapter, but look out for a discussion to resume next week. Um, so the training, of course, is really excellent. It does cover um, uh, really everything that you need to know to get started editing in Wikipedia and everything you need to know to be a successful Wikipedian. Um, it also is going to give you some hands-on exercises which I encourage you to complete um, and that's again really going to be the best way to learn about editing in Wikipedia. So the anatomy of a Wikipedia article which is what uh, I'll touch on today um, uh, again, I want to point out, you know, there are no templates in Wikipedia, but there are some standard ways to um, interact with Wikipedia. There is a typical structure to a Wikipedia article. Um, it starts out with a lead section. You typically uh, that's typically followed by an info box, then the body of the article, some images, as well as appendices and footnotes. So to break it down a little bit more for you. The lead section summarizes all of the key points in your article. The very first sentence should define the topic the article is about. So that's really going to be where you summarize the information about that article. The info box, that's just the box that gives you an idea of what's contained in the article. Um, it's not something that will just appear on any article. There is some code you can grab for that um, and uh, really just check out another Wikipedia page for how to grab that code. Body of the article, so that's going to be more detailed coverage of the topic of interest. Um, note that sections in the body of the article um, are often divided by headers to kind of give it some sort of structure. So images and audio content um, can be added to Wikipedia articles. These make the articles more interesting and more encyclopedia-like and can really take an article to the next level. You can add freely licensed images to Wikipedia articles via Wikipedia Commons. So we'll go into that a little bit more later in class and we'll also talk about um, appropriate licenses and images much later in class, but kind of just file that away. Know that that's something that we're going to talk about. Um, if you're more, if you're interested in learning more now, I can give you some information and um, definitely check out Creative Commons licensing on your own. And then finally, appendices and footnotes. This is the section for um, the related content or the C also. Um, so if you know of something that's related to your topic and you want to point people to it, that's where that that's what that section is for. Um, this is also the section for where the references for an article live, so all the sources that are used in an article, um, and any other websites people could consult for more information, so that's external links. So that's really the basic layout of a Wikipedia article. So I also want to spend a little bit of time talking about what makes a Wikipedia article excellent. Um, one, you want to make sure your Wikipedia article has that clearly written and easy to understand overview at the beginning of the article, so at that lead section. Um, this is again going to introduce readers to the topic the article will cover. Um, again, you want a clearly organized structure. You want something that flows logically. A lot of times these will include headings and subheadings. Um, again, do remember that Wikipedia does have no firm rules, so exactly how an article is um, organized depends upon the content of that article. Again, you want balanced coverage of the facts, so make sure you're pulling in lots of different viewpoints. Um, some topics may have lots, again, lots of different viewpoints, so make sure you're covering those and bringing those in. Don't leave any information out. Uh, again, you're looking for neutral coverage, like balanced coverage, make sure you're reporting those facts in a non-biased way. You're reporting the facts, again, not trying to persuade someone to think in a certain way, and your points should come from reliable sources. Um, 
The next point is, again, making sure you're using reliable sources. So you're going to be using information from independent sources um, known for fact-checking and neutrality. So a lot of times this means journal articles in peer-reviewed um, journals. But it could also be news associations known for their fact-checking and neutrality. So, um, for example, the Associated Press or BBC News. Um, there are more sources out there. Wikipedia does have a whole page on reliable sources, and we'll continue to cover this as part of class. Um, and then, of course, keep an eye out for warning signs for not-so-great articles, and keep in mind um, these things as you're writing on your own. Um, and also as you're going out and looking at articles and exploring Wikipedia and figuring out your topic of interest, um, look for some of these warning signs because you can really help improve Wikipedia. Um, so for not looking out for not so great articles, um, look out for things like warning banners at the start of an article. That would be pretty a really easy way to see um, some of the issues with a particular article. Um, Look out for language problems. Again, lots of folks are often working on Wikipedia, so maybe that summary passage needs someone to go through and really make it a cohesive entry. Also, watch out for and avoid in your own writing those value statements. So things like the best or the most important part of. Um, again, that makes the writing biased and is not appropriate in Wikipedia. Uh, avoid references to unnamed sources, so a lot of times you'll see things like citation needed, um, so you do need to back up your statements on Wikipedia. Um, and also look out for articles that only have a few references. This could be something that just needs more improvement or needs some more um, resources to help back it up. So those are all warning signs for not so great articles in Wikipedia. Um, so I would say that's it for the anatomy of an, uh, a Wikipedia article as well as some um, ideas about what makes a good article and what makes a bad article.